Basically, it all started uh, when my mom went in for a routine partial hip replacement and came out in a coma with permanent brain damage. I came from a family of doctors. My uncle's a doctor, my aunt's a nurse, and they both said that brain damage is not a known risk factor for hip surgery, which seems very obvious. And we're like, how did my mom end up in a coma for this routine surgery, which she was supposed to be up and walking the next day? It became clear as we investigated that every step of the way, there were errors occurred from surgery to the transfer to ICU to this EICU thing that they've got, this electronic ICU, and essentially it all came down to who's in charge of my mom's care. And that was 10 years ago, and I've been on a mad search for the last 10 years to find out why that happened. We have not even begun to recognize the country's third leading cause of death, medical care gone wrong. The medical profession needs to be accountable for the errors. These are our costs, $421,000. Meds, health insurance, taxes, all roads lead to the insurance company. Their whole plan is to drag this out as long as they can. I've been fighting insurance companies in one form or another for 10 years. I'm, I'm doing it right now with my mother. How may I help you? I got a bill for almost $15,000, and I'm calling to find out what that's about. Steve is literally consumed by this much of the time, most of the time. Let me go ahead and look and see what's been happening, okay? Yeah. He has spent more time in Milwaukee than he spent here in our home. It was a pre-approval, approval, then a denial, then an approval, then a denial, and then they paid it but now they want their money back from you guys, and that's why you want your money back from us. Right, that's exactly where we're at. Nothing's changed. I, I'm kind of an all or nothing guy, and when this happened, and I called my wife and I told her what had happened, she just knew, she was like, uh-oh, you're all in. And I knew that once I started to not get answers uh, why this happened, I just went in deeper and deeper. It's a slippery slope right now, and uh, Steve's just doing his very best He's been working on three scripts in the last few years, but because of Judy's injury, he has not been able to, to work on those. So she always felt that if, if her pain and suffering and what she went through could help others, that this project was worth doing. And I always kept that, that always, whenever I wanted to bail on this project, which was often, I wanted to quit many times. She, my mom and her courage and her fortitude and you know I, I consider her to be a hero for me. It's been incredibly difficult uh, to relive her pain and suffering over and over again. Um, I felt horrible just filming her. You know I was advised years ago by the, our attorneys that I needed to film that pain and suffering for our, our case and then it became a film and then as we, we kind of started to make this film I had to literally find a way to just kind of turn it off. A lot of people in the system are now making a lot of money off my mom. You know, she's had a, seen 150 doctors and there's um, all these law firms and everyone's involved in this thing and they're all making a lot of money off, you know, my mom kind of became a cottage industry. I think it's, I think the system is so broken. Like, I kept, I've, I've kept asking all these years, who's in charge of my mom's care? And then it like occurs to me, who's in charge of healthcare? Like, I don't know. Does it, do any of us know? That's, that scares me. That's like one of the reasons I made this movie. Like, who's in charge of this whole thing? My mom's personal story is a universal story. Everyone has a story. I mean, we're all patients. We're all people who know patients, our, our spouses, our loved ones, our parents, our children. So we're all in this together. And But once, once you get money involved, then, then it becomes, you know, people do a lot of different things for money. The whole thing gets better if there's just, if all eyes are on the, uh, on the prize, which is the patient. 